What's up, Elsie? I'm Josh Brunette. I'm from Radio And welcome back to episode 12 of Tribe TV. I'm Pat Winters and I teach English 10 lab and regular. When I was in high school and things like that, it really was not an important thing to me. I didn't think that it was something that I had to do. What had changed my mind on it was really a student that I had in class when I taught seventh grade and this was about seven years ago. He was in my social studies class and wasn't really doing a lot of work. Now that bothered me at the time and I came to find out that he had a very different life than I would, would expect. Um, he lived in the basement of an apartment building and I had some ideas about this kid um, that things were going wrong. He wore the same stuff to school a lot of the time, was kind of disheveled and things like that, but I kind of just chalked that up to him being a teenager. One of the things that the guidance counselors at my previous school did for this kid is they uh, would take care of him and his family at the holidays. And they had him compile a list of things that he wanted for Christmas. He only had one thing on his list and it was a pillow. I was taken aback by it and I, I really thought back, the first thing I did, I thought back to all the times that I had yelled at him for not doing any work and felt horrible because I had totally judged this young man before, you know, before considering his lifestyle. So uh, when I came to Lake Central and found out that the Angel Tree was, was a program here and something that they did here, I was all in on it. And so one of the things that I vouched that I would do is I would do this every year and kind of try and grow it every year within my classroom. I talk about it in every class. I tell the story in every class and um, I try and make it relevant to them. There's people in our school, in your class, on your team that need help and so that's why I'm a, I'm a big advocate for this program. So that's the thing that I try and, and teach to people uh, as I've gotten more and more involved with this here is that there's always people in need, especially people around you that you can help. Be sure to donate to Angel Tree. Now let's check out what our girls basketball team is doing for St. Jude. Hi, I'm Coach Huffenthal, and as the holiday seasons approach, one of the things that we have done in our program since I've been here is our kids have uh, embraced the St. Jude House in Crown Point. It is a uh, shelter for women, um, and unfortunately, these women are in need of many things. We are going to, throughout this process what we do is on December 8th the girls are going to go there um, we have a representative from the St. Jude house talks to our kids about how women are battered um, women that are in need women that have kids that have nothing um, so throughout our process what we are trying to do is to give a helping hand to them any kind of personal hygiene needs there are a bunch of house, household items, just simple things like laundry detergent, paper towel, toilet paper, any kind of uh, hygiene needs that they may need, such as deodorant, um, bar soap. We're, we're just talking about the necessities here that these people just don't have. Um, all kinds of children's needs, um, baby monitors, car seats. In addition to that, at all our games, we will have a box. We will also have a box in front of the athletic office 
So there's basically three ways that you could get the stuff to us, or basically four ways. You could give it to any girls basketball player, that would be one. Two, you could bring it to my room. Three, we are going to have a box out at the athletic office. And then the fourth way is we will also have a box at all of our games. And any help you guys could give us would definitely be appreciated. And I know that the LC community here uh, will help us do that. And, and again, as the holiday seasons approach, um, our kind of motto for our kids is try and help somebody that is in need. Let's see what the custodians do inside our school. Hi, I'm Chloe Manitidis and I'm a freshman. Hi, I'm Taylor Dykstra, I'm in grade 11. Uh, my name's Todd Iwima, I am a teacher here at Lake Central. And I think the janitors are really good at their job and we should thank them more. I think they're very helpful and I think like we need to appreciate them more because they do a lot for us and we kind of take it for granted. Speaking of my classroom, is they do a great job. Uh, it tends to be a lot of times where I come in in the morning and all the desks are straightened up for me and everything's picked up and thrown away. Uh, in the cafeteria here, it's always in great shape. Uh, I think they do a great job throughout the whole school. Hi, I'm Robin. I work for Blake Central here. I've been here for almost 20 years now. I work the cafeteria area, Main Street. I work the band in the choir area. I work the technology department and I also work outside the football. I wish the kids would stop throwing their food around and making messes, and mainly with the fruits and stuff. It's hard to get up. Let's well, check out this week's sports update brought to you by Hoosier Sports, the best place for your region sports apparel. What's up, LC? Welcome to this week's sports update. I'm Jack Thiel. And I'm Giovanni Alcantar. Let's get to it. The boys basketball team will be tipping off into action on Monday night as they travel to Andrean High School and face the Andrean 59ers in our annual matchup in the beginning of the year. Tip-off is at 7, and let's check out this year's boys basketball team. Hi, I'm Jack Davis. I'm a guard for the Lake Central basketball team. I'm Coach Malaznik, our boys basketball varsity coach. Hi, I'm Mark Malaznik. I'm a sophomore, and I'm the, uh, I'm the shooting guard for the Lake Central Indians basketball team. Honestly, with this year being everybody kind of new, but um, I have high expectations, honestly, because our team feels like we gel a lot more in practice, and um, with the younger kids coming up, and with having four seniors on a team, it helps kind of just make this uh, leader mentality throughout the whole team and not just a couple of players, but throughout the whole team it's equally spread out. Our expectations are just to get better every week. Uh, we have one starter back, so we're going to have a lot of kids that are uh, seeing some varsity minutes for the first time. Uh, we have promising players uh, returning, but with being inexperienced, hopefully we can just get better every week and be in position to compete for sectionals at the end of the year. You know, Jack Davis is our lone returning starter. Uh, uh, Nick uh, Anderson and Dom Chiappone saw some valuable minutes. Uh, leadership's going to be big, you know, as far as some kids filling the leadership role that some of our older kids have had the past couple seasons. And from there, we have some good basketball players that just have to get confident and get used to their roles. I think it'll, uh, it'll, it'll be hard at first. It's like not a lot of experience playing varsity ball. But I feel like later on in the season, like I'll start being more comfortable, like playing with the boys and playing with better competition. Um, being in sectional championship uh, for the second year in a row, it makes me want to, makes me crave uh, another appearance there. And just being in front of all those fans just kind of gives me like this uh, comfortability in front of whoever may be play, watching us play and being able to gel together as a team. The girls basketball team will be in a regional championship rematch from last year as they face off against the Penn Kingsmen at Penn High School on Saturday at 6.30. Make sure you check out the girls, this game is going to be a good one. Now let's take a look at video about this year's girls and boys swim team. My name is Mia Rinaldi and I'm a senior. This season I'm hoping to place top 8 in both the 500 freestyle and 100 breast at DAC and sectionals. Being a senior, it's definitely more of a leadership position and you're becoming a role model for everybody else and helping motivate the team to, you know, do well. Our goals as a team this year are to defend our Highland Invite Championship. We won that last year and to take um, home the dub at sectionals this year. We were very close last year, so this year we're going to win and get as many girls down to state as possible. My name's Jillian Murray and I'm a senior. 
This season's a little bit different compared to last because we don't have as many seniors this year. We only have three and we lost a lot of seniors last year so we need to, uh, more people to step up. My personal goal this year is to make it down in state in the 500 freestyle and to be on some relays at sectionals. Eric Tinsley, I'm a freshman. My brother, he's a senior and I've been like around the team for a while. So it doesn't feel like I'm being that new since I've known most of the guys. And even I've known some of them since I was like little. This year, I hope to win the DAC in my event. Well, I hope to break the record for the relay and like just be on the team with them. This year, I'm really looking forward to swinging with my brother and becoming part of this team because I've never really had an opportunity like that before. My name is Michael Zajak and I'm a senior. There are a lot of different ways we can improve. We lost seven seniors from last year. So I think that if we just pull it together with our new members, um, then we just really work really hard during our practices that we can um, bring it back harder than we did last year. We gained a lot of new, very strong freshmen in the team that really helped pull our team together. Uh, they're really fast and they're basically at the standard that a lot of the rest of the team are at. Our biggest competition this year uh, will probably be all the teams that submit sectionals, but probably Munster at the highest. Our goals for this season is probably to break the records of Todd Smolinski in the 200 free relay and the 400 free relay, and as a team, probably to do well at sectionals and to make it to state. If you guys haven't heard, Giovanni and I started the first ever podcast here at Lake Central High School called the Double J Podcast with Jack and Giovanni. Now what we talk about, we talk about sports around the world, the biggest headlines, and sports here at Lake Central High School. We record on Tuesdays during PTE, and they come out on SoundCloud about 10.30. They're also on Spotify and Apple Podcasts, and we hope you guys tune in. Just let us know what you think, any ideas you have for us, and we hope you really enjoy this podcast. It's a new thing for us, so we're hoping you guys can really enjoy it with us. Well, that's all we have for this sports update. I'm Giovanni Alcantar. And I'm Jack Thiel. Stay classy, Lake Central. Thanks for this sports update. Let's see some, another edition of Try Vibes. What up, Blake Central? I'm Sam Fierro, back with your latest installment of Tribe Vibes. Today we're asking people what their favorite place is to eat in the region. Let's get into it. Hi, I'm Brenna Thompson. I'm a junior, and my favorite place to eat in the region is El Amigo because their queso is just fantastic. Hi, I'm Jan Sobal. I'm a junior, and my favorite place to eat in the region is Olive Garden because of the breadsticks. Hi, my name is Nadia Tompkins. I'm a junior. My favorite place to eat in the region is The Quest because of the family atmosphere. Everybody should go check it out. My name is Jack Agnetz, and my favorite place in the region is White Castle because of the number one, because it has four sliders, you get a drink, and a large fry. My name is Luca Derek. Um, I'm a freshman, and my favorite place in the region to eat is around the clock because their burgers are good and their fries. And you know, some lemonade with that too goes goes really good. Thanks for another awesome tribe vibes, guys. <laughs> now it's time for a commercial break brought to you by the Quest. The Quest is a family-owned establishment in Cherville, Indiana, off of US 30. Come in and enjoy our homemade soup, stuffed burger, and many other delicious meals. Now let's check out the new Sign Language Club. Hi, I'm Taylor Robinson. I'm a senior and I started the American Sign Language Club. Well, I started the American Sign Language Club because I learned it in fifth grade um, just as an introduction to uh, my merit class. And I really enjoyed the language and I thought it was super fun to be able to communicate with my friends without other people knowing what I was saying. Um, and so just throughout my time in high school, I've been teaching myself American Sign Language. So in the club, you can expect to learn um, just simple phrases like, what's up or how are you? Two different things like Christmas carols like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and how to actually have a conversation with someone who's fluent in American Sign Language. So if you're interested in joining my club, you can email me at tsrobinson at lcstudents um, and I'll get back to you on where we'll be meeting. Bye, LC. You guys can contact Taylor Robinson about the um, sign language club. Let's check it here for the strip club here at LC. Well, hi, I'm Maddie Pedroza. I am a junior and I'm the president of Lake Central String Club. Our teacher sponsor is Ms. Thomas and two other students run the club with me. 
um, Blessing Lenate, and Adriana Klein. This club is a club for anyone that likes to play music and perform in front of a lot of people, pr primarily string players. One of the co-presidents, Adriana Klein, we were talking about how there's no opportunity for string players to play during school or just as an extracurricular and we wanted to create an opportunity for talented musicians to play with other talented musicians. We perform during the Veterans Day Breakfast, we perform at Symphony of Dyer Nursing Home and Rehabilitation Center, and we open for Lyrical Strings at the Mall December 1st. Hi, my name is Blessing Anate. I am a junior at LC, our school, and I am one of the co-presidents for LC String Club. I really enjoy being in this club because for the past couple of years I've kind of been slacking on my instrument because I play the piano and just because of school, but joining this club kind of reinvigorated me and made me excited to play again. Anyone can join, although we would recommend they be string players. Um, it would be nice if they were experienced or even took private lessons, that's very preferred, but it's not necessarily um, mandatory. Uh, you can contact me, Adriana, or Maddie, or Miss Thomas for more information, or you can just kind of swing by the band room or the black box on Wednesdays. Sounds like we've got some great clubs here at LC. That's it for episode 12 of Tribe TV LC. I'm Josh Burnett. I don't know that you long ago. Make sure to tune in next week for episode 13. Yes.